Ooh, what is up you guys and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. And today we got ourselves a match against Yule Freeman. Hopefully not the Freeman from Half-Life, but one might never know. If that's the case then we're in trouble. But yeah, he wanted a mixed tier battler or a mixed tier. Though that is alright, okay. He got two UU, but the rest is um awesome. Uh <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, I I might have to bring the right stuff here, but it will do just fine to be honest. Uh, what to expect to lead? Hmm. I actually the team I brought is uh, uh, the team that I brought was uh, my old sand team. So uh, with a with a few twists on us just to mix things up. So I got I think I got. Um, I got no OU in my team. I got, what's that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 NU pokes and 2 UU. So I'll see if that works out. This, this is a challenge. Oh shit. Alright, it'll do fine. <laughs> oh, no 3D. That's, that's alright. I'm fine. Um, yeah, this could be tough. Hmm. A very very standard team, so I'll see how that works out. Uh, definition mixed was probably a very wide uh, thing to say. I really feel that. So I did expect a Greninja lead. That's why I I have nothing to outspeed it really. So I felt I'd rather bring in uh, something to be able to just dent it. To be honest. So the thing I'm gonna do here is actually toxic it. It could go for dark pulse. I guess it is its best move. All right, ice beam. So that is quite alright. So that won't do too much damage because we are a Mantine after all. And it's life all boosted, alright. Oh no. Huh. Still though. Almost sounded like still though. Still though. Um, I am still walling him out. It will keep go for Ice Beam, not you scold him. I really can do that, I guess. I gonna, he's, he's not gonna go for a water move, so I will do neutral damage anyway. But yeah, we draw that, and I, I get that, I really do. Come on, come on, there's the Metagross. I was thinking that he might bring a Steel type in here, so get the burn! Get it! Get it! Or avoid it, I mean, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Solid strategy from my side here. So at least I'm almost back in full health. So the thing is, what are you all about, sir? So I guess Bugra, my... Uh, my Hippodrome can wall him out. Not well, but at least I resist the steel type, so that's fine. And getting some sands from here is always nice. Let's see here. Zen headbutt. Should do some fair damage actually. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So I expect him to think I'll go for um I should go for an EQ from this range. So he's gonna switch out. So I might as well go for a rock slide here. Let's see. There we go, please. Talonflame or Charizard would be perfect. Ah, Greninja. So right, some neutral action, that's kind of cool, I guess. But yeah, not not too promising there. But it gets some buffs going, so that's kind of nice, I guess. Um, I should probably say this right now, that Ice Beam is his safest choice by default. I don't think he'll go for a water move because I have the Mantine after all. So Vulcan, you're up. With a salt vest, it should be able to wall out what is necessary here. Let's see. I actually went for the surf. Risky boy. Risky boy. Should do some fair damage actually. Look at that. Risky, risky, risky. Alright, so that is my way of over predicting. So we can't do that one more time. Zolgo, 
do your thing. Get some recovery. Ah, oh, that, that really sucks though, that really sucks. Man, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, I'm expecting him to go for another surf. There we go, nom 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 nom. But really, that really sucks. I was actually predicting him to uh, go for something else and that came back to bite me in the ass. And I pretty much, I, oh, how to put it? Put my Vulcan in a very bad range there. Um, I don't think he will sack this off just yet. There's the Dark Pulse, I will get some neutral damage, and Dark Pulse shouldn't do too much, but I could risk the flinch here. It's 20% after all. There we go. So that's pretty ninja out of the way, so that's very very promising. Uh, I should be able to outspeed almost anything on his team now. The only thing I have to fear is of course the Talent Flame at this point. Um, because even if I'm scarfed with my Pangoro, I still won't be able to gent it as well as I was hoping for. Hmm. Let's see here. Do he bring the Metagross? He brings the Charizard. That's very shiny. So I do expect him to Mega Evolve here, maybe go for a Solar Beam. Either way, can I be fine? I wonder. I really, really, really wonder. Or should I go into my flying on expecting a far move? No, oh, why would I go for a far move? Um, let's see here. There's flying on and Charizard are at the speed tie with Mega Volts. If it's a Charizard Y, let's go into our speed. I can probably take. Huh, I wonder. Could be Charizard Y. I'm just gonna scout that out to be honest and go for a rest here. Trolling him a little. There's the Y form, that's perfect. I should be able to take whatever comes my way here. I hope. Don't have Asian power. So there's the Trot, that's really okay. Air Slash, yeah, of course. Getting some flinch actions going, perfect. And a crit. And yes, yes, how lovely. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh, <laughs> that's how you work it. That's how you work it. Right, straight for a solar beam. I wonder if this takes me out though. It is unstabbed after all. Please don't. Perfect. That is man sign. For you who have been watching my Mega Evolution uh, video that I did yesterday, you guys get this. This is the reason alone I made this man sign. It is able to all out necessary stuff. And Charizard is definitely in trouble. Uh, <laughs> man, I love stuff like this. So, the thing I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna expect him to go for an air slash. So I'm gonna bring Gigalith, um, taking that. Oh, he switched out. Right to Halucha. Yeah, high jump kick is coming my way. I wonder if I really can take that. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, damn it. Hmm. This is gonna hurt. So this was definitely the wrong switch in. <laughs> um Yeah. I'm risking it with Bugra. Let's see here if I actually can take a high jump kick with him. Or if he miss. Misses will be perfect. But at least I get the sand screen up, so that's kinda nice. 
There's the high jump kick. Don't kill me, but do fair damage. I actually live. Do this thing pack the um, sky attack? That's that is the question. Oh, I want to go for a slack off. But I don't think I can take a sky attack. Why is this the standard set? Still. I could scout it out. I really could. Let's find out here. If it goes for a scout, I can do say it. It's gonna get that unburden activated. There's a scout attack. And it's definitely gonna kill. I have no doubt in my mind of that. Oh, alright. But the thing is, now the unburden is going. So I just have to accept that. There's acrobatics. Perfect. Mmm, the setups. The setups. You get a bat for a storm, so that's kind of nice, I guess. But really, what can I do from this range? I don't even think fault count speed here. I have to risk it. I really do. Hmm. Let's hope for the best. Come on. I shouldn't outspeed, but I want to. <laughs> Alright, to withdraw that. Hmm. Wasting that. To the Metagross. Which I fear will not appreciate this. Yeah, that hurts. So right, Wolf is back in action. That's real nice, actually. And I'm gonna bring in Beatrix here. Uh, Beatrix is uh, the Pangoro. Uh, it's not that it can do immensely anything at all, but I am Scarf, so I'm gonna hope for a parting shot, to be honest. First Meteor Mash, I should be able to take that. <laughs> <laughs> the definitions, the definitions, alright, alright, Parting shot it is. I hope we bring the hard switch here. Or we could go for a bullet punch and that will actually be somewhat fine. Because I need to slack off with my... There we go, shoot and kill. Oh. Oh, and a clear body. <laughs> Why did I even do that? Um, at least I'm baiting him to stay in. Okay, this is kind of nice. So I'm gonna bring in Bugra here, only to actually get the slack off going. Because that is what I need. I should maybe go for Rock Slide, but... Yeah. Well, I'm playing very predictable. Oh, he stays in for that. Okay. That is quite alright. So I do get to recover. That is so not gonna matter, but still. It's kinda cool, I guess. Hmm. And I'm actually slower. So he doesn't do too much damage on me, let's see here. Alright, send him but Getting that flinch action, I guess that's kinda cool. Ooh, and I go for Rock Slide, and it's over prediction. And the sandstorm subsides. 
Alright, my choices are getting limited by the by the numbers. Hmm. Alright, I might as well go for slack up. I've gone for Dickens to switch out here. Oh, we stay soon. Alright. Mm. It's no clinch action, but you know, we could get the pack boost. Yes, yes, we do. So even though I'm able to wall him out, I don't know his deck, and I hope in the long run here. Really feeling that the next meter match is gonna hurt more than the next one. Yeah, I am very, very stalled right now. Let's see, how much will they do this time? Ooh. Oh, I'm shooting myself in the foot. I really are. Next one is gonna kill. Or at least almost. Let's find out. Should just go for the earthquake in the first place. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! All right. At least he's gone. But man, that was that was not worth it. That was not worth it. There is the halucha. And yeah, the acrobatic should be enough here. Sadly. Sadly it's enough. So I'm gonna practically waste my Deacolith right here. There's acrobatics. I will, I will be walling that out somewhat. But the problem is that I can't take a high jump kick. And uh, I have no means of uh, recovering from this. But I have to. This is practically what I gotta do. I'm gonna waste Booga right here. Um, and just have... Um, just have my Gigalith as safe uh, fodder when it, the time comes. At least you get the sandstorm going, and yes, he's going to kill that out with. Uh, oh, I hate to see this. Uh, he's going to dent that out, of course, with. Uh, uh, what's it called? The, um, the draw here, and there is really nothing for me I can do there besides just bring in my. Um, uh, my obvious choice being. I can't even speak, I'm so frustrated right now, but um, I can only bring my Let's see, yes, you have to sack. Oh, right. There we go, that should kill it. Uh, he's gonna bring the draught Charizard, there is really nothing I can do from that. I just have to accept my my viewpoint at this point, to be honest. Uh, he definitely needs to take away the draught to work properly. Uh, Gigalith can probably deal with the Talon Flame actually, but that is as far as it goes. Power Blast will do very, very fair damage. Solomon's. Solomon, huh? A little risky. A little risky, I say. Hmm. What the hell, let's do it, you game pass. Get out of my face. <laughs> oh, it's still, still, I... I think I lost just by default, to be honest. Uh, because both Talonflame and Charizard are going to uh, dent me off here. So, I could probably stall out the draught for a while, maybe not at all. So I have to wait one turn, it's just gonna go for Fire Blast. Heat Wave. Alright, we have a chance of missing, that's perfect. Still, that's gonna kill me. Hmm. What do I got left? I could hope to outspeed here with Beatrix. I don't think I will, even though I'm scarfed. But at least I'm getting some, you know, some residual damage, maybe. If I am faster, then I'm just going to do some fair damage, but no. Let's see, two fire moves, alright. 
that's not where we're all. Um, right, I can't bring in my Vulcan right now, so Solgo, which just got to sleep, really had to do something. And the reason I actually wasted off my Pangora right there was because it will still be outwalled by um, the, uh, the Talon Flame with the Gale Wing and all. So he's gonna go for an Air Slash here. I see no reason not to do that. Uh, let's see, can I wall that out? I can. Can I be flinched too? That would be just perfect. Alright, we've talked, there it is. Scald, yes! Though still in the heat here, it will probably do nothing. There we go, nothing action. I wonder... I should have switched out. I really felt that I should have switched out right, right there to uh, the Gigalith. So at least we'll go for some Bray Birds, that's fine. Oh, perfect. Thank you, man, time. Thank you. So I, I actually lost this game, there is no means for me of recovering here. Uh, frustrating, yes, but then again, what kind of team had I going against this one? I guess I did fair. I'm gonna get this, I really don't believe this talent flame is going to um, be able to um, actually take out my Gigalith. But then again, Gigalith can't take out um, Charizard, because I have no way of speeding it. Hey, it became a good game at least. I think it was really close. There is not a brave bird. Brave bird. Brave. There we go. Alright, almost a kill. Almost a kill. There we go. Stone Edge. Boom. I should have switched out on that point. I really had that coming that uh, maybe, and just maybe, that he was gonna switch out considering he couldn't take out the Soul Go, my man time. But I played a little obvious here and I lost as a result. So that's really okay. I mean, I had definitely the weaker team, I really felt that. Oh, I'm sorry, Vulcan. You were supposed to be the greatest champ here. Well, there we go. GG, Freeman. Oh, I was hoping for a win here. Really, that team, that team was really, really strong. The only thing denting it was my man sign and. Yeah, I preserved it long enough, but I didn't see the switch out there. So right, we're saving this. There we go. So right guys, you know as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this battle. Um, leave a like if you did just that. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, alright? Take care. Bye!